Hey art nerds! In July and February I taught another six week comic course with Nashville Community Ed and we ended with a phenomenal zine exchange and I sort of wanted to share my experiences with you guys. So at the beginning of the semester we were approached by Wake Up Comics which is a local zine store for sponsorship. They wanted to sponsor our class and part of the deal was that they were going to allow us to hold our zine exchange, a bonus seventh class at The Groove, which is the store that hosts Wake Up Comics. So my students worked really hard all semester making mini comics and zines and together we, assent we printed and assembled their zines, some in class, some after class, all in preparation for this big zine exchange event. Now our first semester we had a zine exchange but that was in our sixth class and that was in our classroom and it was a very modest affair. So I was really looking forward to us having the opportunity to really showcase everybody's hard work, to show off everybody's amazing zines and to show other people why Nashville Community Education's Making Comics class is a wonderful opportunity for people who are interested in learning more about making zines and comics. So here are some of my comics that I also brought to the exchange. I was so inspired by my students' hard work that it propelled me into finishing Lilliputian Living. And here are my students' beautiful zines in black and white and in full color. We've got a lovely selection to choose from. And here is the bonus ridiculous comic cake that we made on a Rice Krispie treat. You guys can check out the video for that here. And then here are some shots from the zine exchange. I have to apologize, I don't have any good shots of the table because people were always swarming around to check out my students' awesome zines. We put up beautiful examples of their original art on that grid wall behind the table, as well as examples of some of the tutorials and lessons that we went over in class. And we also had their comics on full display. Students brought in their own food. It was a potluck. And NCE also su supplied several food food platters for attendees to munch on while they enjoyed one another's zines. I think it was a great event. It was a lot of fun. Everybody seemed to have a really good time and this was a fantastic opportunity for my students to take a moment and celebrate their hard work, to, to congratulate and compliment one another on a job well done. So this was a perfect end to a wonderful semester. Hey guys, so this is about midway through the Nashville Making Comics Zine Exchange. We had a really good turnout. Lots of people showed up. Lots of great looking comics here on the table. I am super proud of everybody's hard work this semester. Everybody did a great job. And we have Josh to thank for this fantastic event. Me. That's Josh with Wake Up Comics, which, sorry, sorry, is that wonderful display of comics there. So if you're in the Nashville area and you're into comics and zines or you don't know what those are and you want to find out about them, you should head on over to The Groove in East Nashville and come flip through some comics and zines. So. This was the zine exchange. Oh, wait, take it from me so I can actually be on camera for one. I like how... How are you doing? Good. How are you? We did it! Hooray! That's it. See it. Alright, so it is the day after the zine exchange, so I've had some time to think about things, process things, kind of mull over my thoughts. And um, I wish I had a little bit more footage from the Zine Exchange to show you guys, but we were just super busy. Like, it's great. There are always people who were wanting to talk about their work or other people's work or ask questions. So we never really had a good chance to get additional footage. And we never really had a good chance to get a good shot of the table because there were always people around it, which is fantastic. So I promoted the Zine Exchange lightly. Um, I made flyers to go put out at Jerry's and to put up at The Groove, which was our host that, for that evening. And I also gave my students flyers. I encouraged them to bring their friends, to bring their family. And then I promoted the event on my Twitter and on my Instagram and NCE did the same and Wake Up Comics did the same. So it wasn't quite as much promotion as I did to get the class full, 
but it wasn't no promotion at all. So I'm really happy with the turnout. And I kind of wanted to talk about my experiences working with NCE. So those of you who have watched this channel or read my blog for a while know that I've always kind of struggled here in Nashville. I had the hardest time finding my place. I couldn't find anybody who was interested in paying me for my skill set. Um, Nashville Public Library was not interested, even though I donated like $200 worth of comic supplies. They never gave me a call back. Um, who else did we try? I tried Nashville Parks because they have summer programs for kids, and they told me no one would be interested in a comics drawing program. I tried Watkins, and they were just not looking for any teachers at that time. And I even put in at the public schools. No dice. NCE was the first time I was actually able to put together and present a six-week comic curriculum. And that began in fall of 2018. And it was kind of rough. Like, it was really rough. Like, my confidence had been shot from years of rejection. So I wasn't sure if I would even be able to teach this. And so the funny thing is, I have an MFA. Like, I have a degree in doing this. And I still didn't think I could do it because so much time had passed. And I'd gotten so much rejection that I'd really started to doubt myself and what I knew. And whether or not I would be able to help other people. And um, the first semester, like I keep saying, was rough. But we got to the zine exchange. And everybody turned something in. And everybody had something for the exchange. And that really buoyed me up for the next semester and then during winter break I actually taught three classes with St. Charles Parish um, library system and those went really well and those gave me, gave me an opportunity to tweak my presentation to think about who my audience was so even though I had a hard time getting my class full for the fall semester I feel like we had a I mean for the spring semester I feel like we had a stronger semester together I feel like everybody made more progress but the downside is is two students dropped and one student didn't wasn't able to finish their project so i need to kind of like retool like look at my my course outline and kind of retool things and figure out how to get everyone to the finish line but i am incredibly grateful to nce for the opportunities for the opportunity to allow me to try for an opportunity to earn money so I make about $5 per student per class, which ends up being about $300 after six weeks of classes. And while that's not great money, I can't continue putting volunteer opportunities, opportunities on my resume because that doesn't count as professional work. So it's really time for me to start getting paid for my knowledge base and for my experience. So this has been a great opportunity to earn money doing what I know how to do and showing other people how to do it. So I'm really grateful for that opportunity because up until that point, my self-confidence had been completely shot. Like I felt like garbage all the time and teaching this class not once but twice and having a successful zine exchange not once but twice has really given me a lot of confidence. I know that my knowledge has value, that I can teach others how to do these things and that we can produce a product. And I feel like that's going to be really important as I move forward in my life especially because comics as an industry has not necessarily been the most fertile ground for me. I've known for a while that I'm probably going to have to augment my income with several other sources. So it's also been really amazing to help students take their ideas from a concept to a finished comic or zine. And that means about eight pages of content. And for someone who doesn't draw or only draws stick figures or has told themselves that they're not able to draw, this is huge. This is a ph phenomenal accomplishment. And for many of these students, this is like permission to continue drawing. This is permission to continue to fall in love with a new thing. It's the realization that you don't have to be the best and that there's loads of different styles and that there's room for everyone to have a voice in comics. Even if the comic industry does not provide such a platform, we as self-publishing independent creators can pursue that platform. It's also opened up a lot of other opportunities for me. It's made it a lot easier for me to request a salary. It's made it a lot easier for me to prove that my work has value because I've demonstrated that I've successfully taught this class twice and we've had successful zine exchanges that I think went satisfactorily for everyone involved. Um, it gives value to my hard work, not just getting paid, but seeing 
my students make progress, seeing concepts click for them has been very fulfilling. I've been teaching online for about 10 years now, and that is, <laughs> compared to teaching in person, teaching online is awful. I'm sorry. I know you guys are watching this. I don't mean to insult you, but it is. I don't get feedback. I can't see if what I'm doing is helpful. I can't, you guys don't always share your finished work with me. There's like a huge disconnect between teacher and student and physical classes don't have that disconnect. Yes, it can be hard to get my students to show me their work. It can be hard to get my, sh to like talk my students into trying the techniques, but we have two physical meet space hours every week to do that. Whereas online, we never get to have that connection. The streams are the closest we come to having that connection and I am super excited to teach more art and more comics this has been a really good confidence boost for me it's helped me hone my materials list it's helped me hone my presentations it's helped me develop my own exercises so I am equipped to teach other classes now I feel much more confident um, going to a school system and trying to convince them to hire me as their art teacher because we know I have that skill set and you guys might know I can teach, but now I know I can teach them as well. And it's also just been rewarding to see them happy, to see that a skill set has clicked for them, that something they've always wanted to be able to do is now within their reach. That's really amazing. So, um, yeah, I, it was a good experience. I wish I had more photos to share with you guys. And I'm excited for my next class. Our next course starts July 9th through August 13th, and it's available to students age 13 and up. This new time from two to four on Tuesdays is designed to accommodate younger students who might be interested in learning how to make their own comics. Again, it is hosted by Nashville Community Ed, and we owe them a huge debt of gratitude for allowing us to continue this course. If you're interested in learning how to make comics and you live in the Nashville area, you can sign up for more information on when I'm offering comic courses by clicking the link in the description below. If you are not in the Nashville area and you'd still like to learn more about making comics, you can join me over on Patreon because my wonderful art nerds get early access to all of my making comics course materials. I also have loads of great comic tutorials here on YouTube and over on my blog, which is natosoup.blogspot.com, and I'm working on putting together creating a guided Skillshare class. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this zine exchange. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys!